Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Today we will go over three common configuration issues when business users execute the test suite in the ODM Business Console. First, the decision runner server is empty in the test suite. This is because the decision runner server configuration is missing in the decision center enterprise console. To resolve it, go to the decision center enterprise console, go to the configure tab, click on new, enter the decision runner name, put in the URL for the decision runner, Enter the username and password. And click OK. Then test the connection for the decision runner. Connection is successful. Let's go back to the test suite in the business console. We can now see the decision runner is defined under the server. Let's go back to the change activity. We can go to the report which I have ran the test with uh, earlier. If I click on the report which it had not run successfully, I can see there was an error occur when starting the job. This is another common issue because the user who is running the test suite does not have the monitor role defined in the WebSphere user group. If I check the server log of the decision server, I can see the user RES admin is having the permission issues to the MB. To resolve this permission problem, I need to go to the WebSphere Admin Console, click on the User in Group, click on the Administrator Group Roles, and add the Monitor Role to the RES Administrator, which is where I have my user defined in this group. Once this is fixed, let's rerun the report again. We can see the status has a check mark, which means the report has run successfully. Lastly, another common issue happened when the decision server and the decision runner is running on two different servers, and you didn't change your configuration of the web.xml file inside the decision runner WAR file. So an error occurs when deploying the SOM to the RES server. To resolve these configuration issues, you need to go to the ODM installation, execution server, application server, WebSphere. You can use the 7-zip or WinZip to edit the web.xml file inside the JWO SSP year jwo decision runner hyphen server dot war web inf so inside this file you need to uh, put in the decision server uh, url in my example i put in the 207.102.52.82 colon 1982 res in the param names Once that is done, save your changes, and this will update the file content for the JWO decision 1.0 file, 
and the changes will propagate to the JWU SSP year file. Once this is done, you need to go back to the Enterprise Admin Console and update this JWU's SSP year file. This should help this configuration's problem. I hope you find this material useful and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.